some i mean sajid you have to make me presenter sajid you are there uh, navin give me one minute i'm making a presenter one minute yeah yeah So, uh, Navin, one question here. Yeah, Navin, you can Hello. start. Yes, yes. I mean, someone has some questions, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Zaritra. Uh, I'm from Kolkata. So, I, I saw that this, uh, this session was only for Kolkata people. Is that you guys have presence in Kolkata also? Yeah. Is there any... Uh, yeah, Navin, we are based on... Uh, sorry. I the, mean, we work in Kolkata. Yeah. We are based out of Kolkata, actually. Okay, so where where is this office here? You guys have any office, or it's totally online? So it's online, but we do have office in Chinar Park. Okay, Chinar Park. So you guys take uh, like uh, data science classes there also? Yeah, data science analytics. We take classes there. Okay. Okay. I mean, all, all all the classes are online only. Okay. Yeah. So all the classes are online, online interactive classes, okay, and it will be end-to-end uh, -end data science, okay. It's not that only one tool, two tool. I mean, it's like R, Python, uh, and then uh, complete data science statistics, all they're covering. I mean, already they've started uh, last week. This week, we are just planning to take, uh, you know, something in visualization, okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, I stay yeah. near the Chinar Park, so good to know. Oh, perfect. Yeah, good, 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 perfect. Uh, you all can see my screen. We, we can see your screen. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I can hear some noise in the background. Uh, if you people go off mute, it'll be good. Yeah, uh, let me give a start. Okay. First of all, I uh, you know, welcome everyone for this Tableau for Data Science, uh, you know, interactive session. We nowadays we are hearing this word, uh, you know, data science everywhere in last one year, we can you know everywhere you can see new new uh, technologies coming in and people started working. And there are high demand of uh, data science. Okay. So what is data science? Anyone can tell me what is data science? Anyone has, I know, background idea what is data science is? So yeah, it's it's the uh, like you will work with the data. You you try to analyze the data and come up with predictions and uh, forecasting. Uh, in the data. Yeah, exactly. Data. Uh, try to get the business insights. Of, of a current company or, or any business problem. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, data science is, you know, uh, we have a huge amount of data, that is big data, okay. So we have this much data and we have to get something out of it, some knowledge, some insight, some analysis, some research from that data and we will be giving that data to the management or higher level management, okay. Something out of that, okay, what is the wrong with the people and what is, what makes us to go further or else, uh, you know, get the profit in that, I mean, I, background noise is there, can, I mean, uh, if all be in mute, it will be fine for me actually. Yeah, okay, fine. So this is data science, okay. Complete, you know, we, we are getting a prediction, forecasting and all these things in fr from using some data, okay, whatever the data we get. From that we will be, you know, uh, kind of research and we'll get some insight from our, okay. And I'll move to the end of this course, okay. We'll be covering these areas today, okay what is data visualization and tableau overview different types of charts components of tableau 
how to install tableau and what are the features and what is this desktop okay what is desktop component what is show me dashboard and we can you know take questions and answers okay these are the things i will be covering today uh when you can anytime you can stop me and ask questions okay you find out definitely answer if not i will just you know find out answers and give you back okay let me move to the okay we spoke about data science now it's data visualization what is data visualization why do we need this and how we do, do i mean how do we present to the you know clients or you know i am management and where and all it's used and with whom and all we will be using okay first thing what is data visualization data visualization is uh, you know we have huge amount of data and no one will understand the data by seeing in a table or in a you know notepad or text format no one will understand right we have huge amount of data by seeing that for example we have 1 lakh rows of data we will not understand by seeing that so and also we have a survey a recent survey in next 4 years in 2020 will be having 20% more of the data which, which we have now 20% a day by day you know the data is getting increased because of that we will be having huge amount of data and in that time will not be in the question to see the data in the tables or uh, text file or something else okay we should be having a visualization tool to represent that in the visual forms okay like charts maps graphs i am different types of uh, you know visualizations okay so let me see can anyone tell me how many sevens are there? there in this i mean uh, data can anyone tell me you guys are there yes no mean yeah i mean why what i am trying to tell in this it's full of clumsy we can't able to find how many sevens are there let me move to the next one Can you tell me how many sevens are there? Now, it's eight, Kavit. Yeah, exactly. What I'm trying to tell you is, so a simple color change can make the difference. Okay, a simple color change in the in I've just colored it in different color. Okay, that's seven. The simple color change can make the difference. So, my next piece. why 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 i need this just because the data is huge we will not be able to see that in a, a table format a simple color change or else a format change and size change can make a big impact to visualize the data okay that's what i'm trying to highlight here okay so next is how we will be representing how why, we are the data and uh, you know we know uh, why do we need the visualization we came to that and how we will be doing that so we have multiple charts and multiple graphs and wherein you know we have multiple tools okay there are so many visualization tools which is in the market and if you can see this is a recent survey which is uh, you know we got from you know online survey uh, you know one website in that we have tableau in that top okay you can see here you can see a tableau you know more than 30000 people voted for tableau and next is click view and like that it is you know one year back we have get taken this uh, survey so people are telling a tableau in data science why tableau so there are so many tools why we have to go for tableau only why uh, people are giving preference to tableau so why because tableau it comes with analytics ability it's not just a you uh, know uh, it's not just a visualization tool 
it's not that i am just representing something from my data i am not representing something to the users it's a, it gives a analytical ability that means we can get insight out of that and then clusters outliers forecasting trend lines and uh, these kind of things analytical things are available and integrated in tableau this is the first thing i mean my point of view this is the first thing because it has analytical ability and the next is it's fast fast means super fast okay so we have a uh, huge amount of data so when we have huge amount of data data uh, my uh, you know the tool which i am using for visualization it should be fast tableau is super fast i can tell that why because it uses in memory concept okay every time when i connect with the data it will not go to the database every time when i refresh what it does it brings the data whatever the uh, you know data is necessary for that particular view it brings the data and stores in local memory local server memory okay so every time it will not go and fetch the data from database so that's the reason it's fast okay so next is any data okay now the data is in different formats now we have the data in uh, text file csv file in databases or you know rdms databases and it's a uh, audio data some if you are speaking from you know some voice also uh, we can recognize from that we can fetch the data video data from videos also we can take the data and from images also we can take the data so these things tableau can handle any type of any type of data that's why you know tableau is so familiar and so popular among the you know other tools so next one visql okay what is visql let me move this all uh, no bad okay visql is a visual query language that translates drag and drop actions to data queries okay so we have visql which is structured query language tableau as a concept of visql i mean visual query language okay so whatever you drag and drop automatically tableau writes a code in the background so no, i mean if you are not not from a technical background guy even though if you are if you know only the business and I, you don't know the tech, technology how to use the tool i don't know any language but still you can go for tableau because tableau writes its own visual you know query language so uh, there is everything drag and drop okay no no need to write apart from the calculations no need to write anything so this is also one of the reason guys i can hear some dogs barking back side can someone go mute please was okay fine the next one is integration what is integration tableau can integrate with other tools yeah guys i'm there yes yes no when you are there sorry sorry some noise was there i now it really gone i thought i disconnected okay so integration so tableau can integrate with r python and many other languages uh, you know tableau uh, can integrate with so many other languages okay which are analytical tool uh, right now we are using most of the common language for statistics analysis is r so tableau is straight away can connect with r python and these are the very i mean no popular uh, analytical tools okay that's why tableau is very famous and i have just you know given some top five points why tableau is popular and why we are uh, focusing tableau right now okay let me move to the next slide yes you people have any doubt you know straight away ask me i can explain are we good with this now yes yeah, buddy just... we are good okay okay fine next is tableau components 
see uh, we know tableau is a tool and what are the components are there inside okay these are the four major components there with tableau one is tableau desktop okay everyone i mean most of the guys knows i guess tableau desktop tableau desktop is a tool where we go and design something okay whatever uh, the project we do everything is done by using tableau desktop visualization connecting the data and uh, you know designing the dashboards so all the things will be all the design part is done using tableau desktop okay i will you know i will go in detail now i'm just giving the overview next is tableau server so i'm done with my designing what i have to do i have to you uh, know share that with the people with the users that time i need tableau server to you know publish our dashboards okay i have designed in i will design in desktop i will publish it in server okay next is tableau reader okay tableau reader it's a you know uh, it's like adobe reader we have we have adobe reader right everyone knows so like that we will open all pdfs there in adobe reader like that tableau one tool is there tableau reader in that by using that we can straight away open tableau i mean if i don't have server access we can open uh, tableau file we can open reader any file i mean it will be in interactive also that dashboard will be interactive also it's not like pdf format and all we can open and view it in tableau reader okay then tableau public it's a online tool tableau public and it's a free tool and we can download and we can use it same all the features will be there but the thing is it's limited it's limited we cannot you know save something in our local machine everything whichever we want to save you need to save in tableau i mean tableau's website only so everyone in the world can see that i mean maybe the practice purpose we can do, use that one tableau pub public uh, and then we we can uh, view others visualizations also others dashboard also they will, if they, someone publishes there it's it's like a you know web portal we can go and access others uh, dashboards also so this is tableau public okay right now we will be working and designing and you know we will be learning about tableau desktop this other uh, you know the tableau server after designing only we will be moving to that one and tableau reader after designing we have to open the file if i am sharing with you people you people uh, you know take the file and you can start opening and you can visualizing uh, that okay okay what is tableau desktop and uh, is it a, a paid tool or else we need to pay something for this tool or else i uh, know it's a free i'll tell you that tableau you can open this website where you can get tableau free version for 14 days okay tableau gives us a free version for 14 days straight away you can download here once you download here it will be you know that uh, it will ask you to whether you have to download for 32 bit or 64 bit up depends on your machine your uh, computer you can download it and you can install and give your credentials i mean your mail ids and all these things so it's free for 14 days 14 days you can download and you uh, you can use it okay okay and this is the overview of tableau okay now i'll get into the tableau tool how it looks and what are the various features so i'll go to the content what are the various features and how someone can you know start working on that i will get into the tool now uh, i have a tableau paid version i will open it Yes, are we good? Yes.
yes this is tableau desktop uh all you guys are hearing me right yeah we able to hear you yeah, yeah i mean uh everything is you know silent i'm not i thought okay i'm this correct okay fine let me move okay i can ask a question now yes yes i mean uh, do we get to uh, set up an environment in a local desktop uh, like uh, installing a tableau desktop then the tableau server so we can uh, create a lab for us uh, to practice i mean uh, to practice okay as i said you are downloading the tableau from the uh, from online okay you are downloading tableau it will save in your machine like this okay you will install after that you will get this one this is tableau desktop okay this is tableau desktop which we need to you know uh, which we need to make some visualization okay after that if you don't have to go for server and all right now we have tableau reader okay if you have to view if some of your friends have to view you can use tableau reader to view that you don't have to you know server is a costly one we will not be getting anything free like uh, trial versions also will not get right now tableau desktop is enough to practice and if your friends or if you are to send that file to others you can ask them to view in tableau reader is that fine and if you want to have some analytics capability so tableau desktop will suffice yes yes tableau desktop supports everything analytical capability means if you want to integrate r in your local machine you should have r that is also a free tool you can install and you can start you can i will you know in the next session channel i'll be explaining how to integrate r python and all these things okay so it automatically it's a inbuilt one okay tableau some of the features are inbuilt one in analytics like forecasting and clustering outliers and all, all these things are inbuilt if you have to go further beyond that you know apart from this free analytical ability if you have to move further you can integrate with uh, you know other tools like r python okay okay yeah and you know why we need visualization because at the end of the day when my analysis is completely done by using analytical tools everything is done okay my research everything is done at the end of the day i have to represent that so that time we definitely need a visualization tool okay i will do so much of analysis and if i don't have a visualization tool how i will represent that time definitely they need a visualization tool that's why everyone is focusing on tableau which is very popular and which is very easy to learn okay and you will you will see uh, 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 so yeah. to interrupt uh, what would be the the separate use case for tableau server if we are able to do everything on the desktop yeah yeah tableau we have to publish right i mean if you are person this is see uh, right now i have um, uh, tableau in my machine in my personal machine if i am working something personally i can view that okay tableau server is comes into picture when you are working for some organization organization and they have multiple users if if you know some 200 people need to view my dashboard that time i need to publish internally right so that they can access to that web page they can view our visualization which our which we have shared with you know that web portal so that time they that organization to take the tableau license, server license they can give okay how many users are there and what is the access levels and what are the privileges they have they can view some people only managers can view that uh, dashboard those and all you know that privileges access levels set by tableau server and everything you can publish in tableau server only okay only the personal things personal dashboard visualization you can view in tableau reader apart from that in you know when it comes to organization we have to buy tableau server is it fine yeah okay 
okay this is tableau's home page okay uh, right now what i'll do i will not go much in deep detail because this is one hour session i will show i will give a complete overview how the tool looks and how the, what are the features are there and uh, what what is tab uh, tableau capable of okay what can tableau tableau do okay see here we have uh, no this is okay connect so tableau gives us so many inbuilt inbuilt tab, no, data engines okay you can straight away connect with see we can find different uh, types of activity you can connect with excel excel access json files even pdf we can connect from pdf we can import and we can uh, start working with special file that is a uh, geospatial file, statistical file which is uh, r file and there are more i'll just you can connect with anything any type of file okay and if i want to connect with databases so these are all the very common databases which is highlighted here. apart from that we have so much of data engines here we can find all type of data engines and tableau is every you know in every latest version they'll be in giving the inbuilt data engines okay you can find amazon all amazon types of i know database google analytics and you can find oracle mysql and sap hana everything is built straight away see uh, we can just have to click i'll try to you know show you little inside i'm just trying to connect with oracle i have to enter the server server name and you should have the access for that server once you get the credentials you can straight away go ahead and you enter and you can give sign in it will take into that a uh, particular database you can you know connect with the database it's very simple guys and you don't have to you know know much technical on this because you are not writing any coding to connect the database okay it's all gui you have to just click the buttons give the credential i you can start uh, playing with the tool okay okay these are the connectivity part okay let me move, move to a sample dashboard now we can see what is tableau is capable of okay everyone can see now i mean this is a map which is designed in tableau okay they represented something by seeing this uh this minus I mean, minus means it's a loss and how it goes okay by using the colors to differentiate in this okay next I'll just show what are the things we can do in the same color variations okay in the table we can find the higher the dark blue is the higher value and less uh, light blue is a lower value so straight away if i go here in this table i can straight away look into okay straight away go dark blue i can clear okay this is the highest one the next one is here if someone looks into this okay where where we got the is sales in this number is profit in september and less maybe here in june july and all it's very less they can straight away see this and they can okay in june july we have some less profit they can concentrate on that why it's less and those things that it when they look into tableau dashboard they may uh, get so many questions by saying this and tableau answers that a good dashboard should be you know made in such a way that it should raise so many questions and it should be capable of answering that questions also okay and i'm just showing different views different types of uh, uh, charts which is available which is there in the tool so this is uh, this ml and we all know what how it looks and all okay okay uh let me give a intro about uh, you know the designing part okay i said there is something okay 
Friends and features, I will say. Yeah. See, I have loaded my data. Say, uh, by connecting that connect part, I have loaded my data. After that, Tableau loads automatically here. Okay, here, these are the three different connect connections available in this particular dashboard. And different, you know, Tableau automatically recognizes, you know, what are the dimensions and what are the measures? Measures means a numer numeric values, everyone knows. And what are the dimensions? All the attributes and string values will be uh, automatically recognized and you know it segregates. Okay, all the dimensions will come here, all the measures will come here. Okay, measures and dimensions, everyone knows like this. Okay, and I've got these things in my, I've just got that in my. Uh, you know tableau desktop so i don't know how to design it so what tableau will how tableau will help us i am very new to the tool so in that time we have a uh, you know a feature called show me see i have the do i have the data in my uh, tableau uh, uh, database i mean uh, tableau desktop show me how i will represent that maybe in that uh, terminology they use a uh, you know feature called show me if i click this show me it will give me a multiple types of charts and visualization which is available there in tableau okay these are all different types of charts this takes table chart and in heat map we have highlight tables which we have seen inside also we have symbol maps we have field maps and we have pie chart, bar chart, stack bar chart, and side by side bar chart. We have tree maps, circle views, we have side by side circle views. I will explain in detail right now. I'm just giving the overview what are the ch charts are there. And we have line chart, which is you know most commonly used for you know representing some uh, date. Date, I mean, uh, when we have the dates, we'll be using line chart. And uh, you know, line for discrete. That also I'll explain in detail. Dual lines, area chart, you know, side by side area chart, and then uh, you know, dual combination, combination, combination of two different charts, and scatter plot. We have histogram, and uh, you know, box and whisker. We have grand chart, and bullet, and bubbles. Okay, these are the common charts. And how it gonna help me? See, oh, right now I will open a new sheet. See, I don't know anything about this uh, table. What I don't know anything. What is there in this uh, database? But I need to make something. And uh, I don't know how to visualize. Also, what I'll do. Uh, oh, Naveen, uh, 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 can uh, yeah. you show how to import a particular form of data? Maybe from a text file. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'll I can go a new data. When you are inside a sheet, you can go to new data source. You can find out the connectivity here. Okay. For example, I have to connect Excel. I have some Excel files here. Okay. I will just uh, connect something which is less in size. Load it. First time it will execute, it will write a query background and it fetches the data. See, when we load the data, we have only these two columns in this data, and right away I can choose whether I want that. I can, uh, you know, right away I can remove also. Okay, I can delete that one, and I can, uh, you know. This is called, you know, uh, ETL part, extract, transmission, and loading. Okay, I'm I'm extracting that from the table, and I'm loading here, and I, I can do some transformation like using I can straight away apply filters using okay add filters here, and I can uh, apply something like count. If the count is more than thousand, you only bring that data. You can straight away apply filters here and bring the data in our, into our sheets. Okay. 
measures and all those uh, other parameters so yeah, yeah. See, getting... this is this is a this is a overall table okay here you can find this is a string and this is a uh, numeric value okay when i move here that sheet is there you can see right? i was in the beginning i had only three of this and right now i have one more also okay you think is right yeah yeah and here if you see one we have seen here as a number and one we have seen as a string both are there in dimension why because there is a text i mean uh, that particular column is there in the text format okay so i mean you don't have to go back and change in uh, you know uh, in the tab i mean in the source of the data okay what i'll do i will i will drag here and drop here now it has converted to measures it's as simple as that guys you will not believe everything you can do here okay just drag and drop it. if you have to if you use some other tool you have to write a manual coding or else you have to go back to the source and uh, you have to edit it for example it's your local file uh, so you you can go back to the you can go go back to the file and uh, our data source you can change it if you are connecting to a database how we will go back to the database and change it we, do, we will not be having the edit option so tableau gives us the feature that we can directly change that one to dimension to measure you got it right what i am trying to explain yes okay let me come back to this show me again okay so as i said i don't know anything about the data right now what i am trying to do i will plot something in bar chart okay i am selecting here I'm just taking, uh, taking that state, okay. I'm just select here. You can see, okay. When I selected this one, automatically you can see some of the charts are you know getting enabled. When I select outside, uh, see now it's disabled. When I select some other field, you can see something getting highlighted. Okay, you can see this is getting highlighted because this is a uh, you know. geographical data so automatically maps are getting highlighted okay if i go something like orders this date right you can see this table is getting highlighted i will go to segments like that i will go to profit my bar chart is getting highlighted and then i will take location also state i am taking this see now i have just chosen two different uh, fields now i can see there are more charts are highlighted okay that means for this particular data these all the charts which are supporting okay i can able to bring all this data okay right now i'm just click here it's as simple as that guys you just click, choose the fields and i don't know what i <laughs> what is there in the data and right now i just click and i uh, you know in with the help of show me i have i have taken i have plotted something here i can see these are all the loss these are the loss and these are the profit you can you know highlight that using a colors also that i'll go in detail in the next in the okay. if you see state i brought here if you see one plus 
that means it's a hierarchy states next view also it's there all when we uh, you know bring some data which has the hierarchy like first is country next is state next is district like that which has the hierarchy tableau automatically creates that hierarchy okay see if i click this symbol automatically it will come to city see state is here city is there you can go you can build all more also from city to postal code till that level we can drill down and we have not done anything in the uh, you know coding part just we brought that tables and we we just brought to tableau desktop automatically tableau process that and make the hierarchy and we use i mean no one knows i mean uh, how to make this and all automatically tableau recognizes those fields and it clips all it into a hierarchy it gives us very simple way okay so right now i brought this here uh, so i want to differentiate using colors okay profit in colors i'm just bringing this as a color in the marks from here i can see this i can see you know what is the color means if it is you know, orange in color that means minus value if it is in blue in you know blue in color that means it's plus value and you can see this is orange straight away someone can see okay this is orange that means uh, in that particular in arizona in that particular phoenix we have the loss and it's huge loss if you can see okay and by seeing this a manager can make a decision he can come with a conclusion okay here that goes it gives some problem something wrong with that particular city why it goes down those things they can you know they can come up with new questions okay let me uh, it's all drag and drop guys you can just you know plot it and you can bring back so now only the state view is there now arizona it's minus and you can see uh, some other also florida also is is less profit and california is more profit and they can if there is more profit they can give i priority to that one like it it's it's i know managers or ceos or whomever taking the decisions it's their thing to take the decisions okay our our job is to give the insight out of the data okay guys any doubts till now i mean uh, any suggestions that i need to go fast i need to go slow like that anything you want you people want to highlight it because i will i need a feedback so that i can proceed further You guys are there? Uh, yes, we are. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Naveen, uh, Naveen, there is a question from Adish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he is asking how we, you have yeah. changed the color. Okay. A color we can change it. Uh, what's the question? Is how bring the color? Is it how do we, how you have changed the color of the graphs? I mean. Like no, color, you know, color. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Profit. It was here. Okay, automatically, Tableau gives me a default color, which is blue. Tableau, uh, you know, it gives me blue color. What I'm doing? I have to color using a profit. Profit. I have to. I need to make the color. What I'm here? We have marks. Okay, different. Uh, you know, features of highlighting. Data. Okay. One is color. Next is size. Another is label. Next is detail. And today I will explain everything in detail. Okay. One minute. By seeing this only we can find out this. Uh, this something which gives me color. What I did? I want to highlight a color using. I want to highlight profit using color. Okay. I'll just drag this. Top here. That automatically gives me this is a uh, tableau's default color, which is you know tableau uses. I mean this is very common color, and why tableau uses this color? We have the people who has color blindness also. Okay, some people may not 
differentiate green and red there are even uh, in my project there are some guys who doesn't uh, differentiate colors so this uh, <coughs> you know common default color uh, which tableau comes up with some uh, you know lots of uh, research they are giving this color and we can change the color format also that i will explain this i know color changing a color is you know it will take complete one class okay that i'll explain in detail so just a drag and drop i did is that fine am i answer this question yeah and uh, uh, navin we have other question from amrita okay and uh, she's asked yeah, yeah, yeah. what does it mean by marks marks well marks is a inbuilt feature i'm marking something okay with colors uh, i mean these are all the things i will tell you these are all the things it's called as shelf okay this is column shelf this is mark shelf and this is just shelf shelf means in our a uh, house also we use no common word this is a shelf where i keep something okay same like this column shelf where i bring the columns is suppose i bring the rows and filters where i bring the filters and apply the filters and marks marks are giving the highlights something okay i use color that i need that in size what i do i will drop in size you can see the difference in size okay it's marking me using the size it's marking that okay this is the highest value this in, you know the width of that one is high you can see that this is a uh, you know low, i mean less less than that it's coming in different size okay and i will drop the label also label it gives me the values what values is there inside that <coughs> okay tool tip is where you can go it gives me a tip here you can see uh, you know in california it's to me california is a state and what is the profit that's a tip it's giving when you when you hover on that particular field <coughs> sorry guys so it's marks are the just marking something using colors or uh, you know using color size label details and tool tip is it fine i mean different features to give uh, uh, different features to highlight some something in our visualization mock sir guys did i answer the question yeah navin i guess yes okay uh, thanks and navin we have another set, uh, like some questions that, that is coming in from amrita and she is asking like okay. since i have asked answered her question but still like she is asking uh, we have dimensions measures and parameters okay so is that divide, decided by the tableau itself or we are uh, working on that and deciding it no tableau as i said it automatically recognizes okay what is dimension what is measure measure means a numeric value dimension string okay <coughs> sorry guys automatically recognizes if you want if you want to you know custom it you can go and custom it you can just as i said i can uh, bring from here to here and i can bring here to here i can decide i can customize but tableau gives us a feature that it automatically recognizes okay <coughs> and the parameters uh, it's a huge parameters is a uh, it's a value which is created by us okay by using this okay. by using this basic salary i'm deciding by using for example basic salary uh, only filter if the basic salary is more than 10000 automatically <laughs> yeah, whenever we create parameters it, it listed in this parameters uh, shelf actually okay is it fine guys i mean my audio is uh, i mean it's not uh, coming in proper way or what no no it's, uh, it's I'm, fine it's i'm getting the answer yeah perfect it's fine right so, so yeah. did i uh, oh why 
so yeah, well, said, uh, bit, question, I mean, yes. before we proceed on, okay. So, uh, like, she's having another set of question, okay. And the question says, like, you, as we said, like, dimension is a string, okay. And like, yeah. uh, and num a num numeric is measures, okay. So, is yeah. it like, how about parameters? Yeah, parameters is the value which we created. Okay, out of this, okay, let me go. I mean, parameters is a huge topic. I will cover in uh, next session. See, parameter. I am deciding whether it's integer, or string boolean, or whatever it is. Okay, I am deciding it by using some value. <coughs> Sorry, yes. And current value is this. Minimum should be thousand. I mean, minimum it should be zero. And maximum is some value. I am just giving as a input. Okay, by using that, uh, it's a kind of filters. Okay, we are uh, giving the user to you know play with the tool. For that, we are giving the filters. I will go in detail for the parameters. Parameter is a is a uh, you know fields which we have manually created by using the dimensions measures right now we'll keep that in mind okay i will explain how parameters create uh, parameters we can how to create parameters and what's the use of that and those things i'll explain in further classes but parameter itself it's uh, it's a very big topic and it's very useful one <coughs> I know, yeah. I mean, this is the user yeah i guess it's fine so is satisfied now so we can if we can go ahead thanks amrita so i was telling you know analytics analytical ability tableau comes with analytical ability what is it so these are the features tableau gives us okay constant line average line median with quantiles and box plot totals it automatically recognizes if i uh right now when we have to move, when we are moving to analytics part we should completely understand the data see right now i've just i have taken the sample data i don't understand the data for that i'm i can't move and give a demo on this but these are the features which is available those things i can explain okay average with these are all i mean uh if you are from if you are analytics background you can understand this trend line forecasting plus we can custom reference line things are all it's with us we can use these features for our dashboard <coughs> okay let me uh, quickly cover uh, some other topics also there are things like worksheet like uh, some someone in unmute and it's little noisy yeah okay that's fine now yeah uh, i will cover what is worksheet and what is dashboard and what is story i will you know close this session by you know after explaining this one worksheet is the single design okay this is a worksheet i have created some map or else some chart some analysis using one one page okay uh, that's a one view i have created by using bar chart okay this is one more view only one chart i mean one uh, vis visual element i have used this is i uh, you know a bullet chart i have used so this is a particular uh, you know this is what a worksheet or single sheet is a worksheet okay when i have uh, designed something uh, one view is called worksheet this one and what is dashboard when i create different different sheets i'm combining those in a single sheet that is called dashboard in this no, sheet without this box it comes this, 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 uh, there is a you know square if it comes that is called dashboard i show how the dashboard looks inside in this if you can see i have multiple views this also a view we just create a single sheet. This is also a view. We just create a different sheet, and this also. I am bringing all together in a single sheet that is called dashboard. Is it fine, guys? Does it make sense, actually? 
if you have any questions you highlight b because uh, here we get in this is how we get into tableau proper tableau so if you have any questions you can uh, straight away ask me as i said single view it's uh, you know it's worksheet and if you, you combine most uh, in other views a single sheet that is this is a dashboard okay this is dashboard okay and this also uh, forecast it's a single view it's a single view it's a worksheet okay you can see this one this is a dashboard if i you can see this also included here and this is a different table and this is a table so this is also a dashboard okay next one is story story i don't think so in this of story to explain but i'll explain what is story as i said single sheet is a worksheet and multiple sheets in a single uh, you know single page it's uh, it's a dashboard okay and what's the story multiple dashboards in a single page is called story okay these are the you can see these are the dashboards and uh, you know what's it's available here i can drag and drop here which so this one i have added here so i can drag and drop multiple stories i mean multiple dashboards in a single uh, you know page that is called story okay i will explain uh, much in detail how to create all these things okay and how to visualize thing uh, what are the colors we should use the particular uh, you know what kind of colors will you know attract the user and where to where i should place the uh, you know uh, bar chart and where i should use the map chart in out of this uh, there are you know uh, tips and tricks where we can use uh, different uh, some people may like maps some people may not like uh, maps and some people only like this uh, it's very common thing guys uh, we need that dashboard should be simple to view and easy to understand tricks guys can you hear me because i'm not can you all hear me yeah yeah navin i'm able to hear you i guess yeah, you I, all are able to yeah, in between uh, my okay uh what will be covering in the next session let Today we have covered a uh, complete overview, and uh, in further classes we'll go in detail of what are the file types of available in uh, what is I mean Tableau has different types of file types, and what is that file type and why it is called uh, you know that twbs t tbx all these things i will explain and connection types okay how to connect uh, you know different data sources i can bring you know data from a database i can bring data from uh, local file i can bring data from uh, pdf all i can combine all those data in a single dashboard that i'll explain and tableau repository and i'll explain what is tableau repository in the next class and how to connect db okay it's i will as i said uh, you know how to connect db and i will explain db filters how to filter while getting the data that time itself how we will filter and much in you know detail with this worksheet dashboard store guys i guess okay, i will explain this much in detail in the further classes i think sajit are we okay for the day i mean if there is any questions and uh,
we have to ask we can answer those questions for the day today fine so uh, guys 